Whip got here. He's inside fighting with Mac. You mean to say the Meredith girl isn't the Black Whip? No. What are you figuring to do with that explosive? I'm going to blow up that check. You'd have to get too close. They're after drill you. Give me that stuff. You stay here and keep him pinned in the shack. I'll go up on top of that cliff and blast it down on him. Right. He got away. But at least your story will convince them that you're not the Black Whip. I'd be a lot happier if you let them stay convinced. I can't do that, Vic. My brother made a legend of the Black Whip. I'm going to carry it on until law and order are established in Idaho. But it's no job for a girl, Barbara. Let me take it over. Then only one of us could act against the outlaws. And you have plenty to do as undercover man for the government. All right. I'll keep your dark secret. At least until Idaho's enemies are beaten. Harris had the girl a prisoner when the Black Whip showed up. Well, that proves that she's not the Black Whip. We've got to figure... What is it, Hedges? There's another wagon train coming into town. Why weren't they stopped at the border? The Citizens Patrol drove us off again. And we'll have to find some way to get rid of that patrol. Well, that's a big order. They're well-armed and well-mounted. That's it. You gave me the answer. Who? Me? Mom, that's the answer. Without horses, there won't be any citizens patrol. We're going to take every horse they got. Raid the ranch, steal them, drive them off, do anything you have to. Start right away. All right, from now on, they patrol on foot. wagon train is being turned back. And that means we're losing settlers who would vote for statehood. Well, that's all very true. But the patrol can't work without horses. Say, Barbara, whose horses are those I saw in your corral? Oh, they belong to Bill Slocum. He was driving them through and rented my corral to let them rest up for a few days. Maybe we could talk Slocum into selling them. There's enough there to help us over the present crisis. Hey, that sounds like a good idea. It looks like the answer to our problem. You'll save the day if you can put that over. We'll go out and see if Mr. Slocum will agree to it. We can't let that patrol have those horses. Send a couple of men out to Meredith's ranch and drive them off before that girl and Gordon get there. I'll send them right away.
There they are in the corral. But we'll have to take care of Slocum first. Give me time to circle around behind him, and then you ride in. I'm a little worried, Dick. You know, maybe we shouldn't have told the Citizens Committee about the horses. You mean you don't want the patrol to get them? Of course I do. But I want to be sure they get them. I've been wondering if maybe somebody on the committee is giving information to the outlaws. It's possible. It would explain how they anticipate every move we make. Is anybody guarding the horses? Mr. Slocum, but he's all by himself. We'd better hurry. No, Barbara. Your suspicion about a leak in the committee must be right. We got here just in time. But not in time to save Mr. Slocum. That's too bad. But his horses will help us run down the men responsible for his death. But there are so few of them, Dick. But there's a way we might locate the stolen horses. It's a long shot. But this horse has probably been corralled with the stolen stock. If I turn him loose, he may lead me to the outlaw's corral. I'll drive these other horses after him as if I were rustling them. You undercover men uncover bright ideas. I'll telephone Ten Point and have him tell the marshal that we'll bring the horses in later. Fine. Probably lead him right to our corral in Hidden Valley. rounded up a pretty good bunch. Who are you? My name's Davis. Baxter hired me. Any of the other boys around? Yeah. Black's over at the barn. Thanks. I'll ride over and see him. I thought you'd rustle a lot more. That's just a few of them out in the corral. 
When we get enough, we take them up the other end of the valley. Thanks. That's one I missed. I know a trick I'm going to miss if I don't get help on the deal. What's the play? A gold shipment can be grabbed. Why don't you see Baxter? I only do business with the big boss. I've been dealt out in deals before. I might take you to the big boy for the right kind of a cut. We won't have any trouble. But we've got to act quick. Where do we see him? Crescent City. Let's go. Stand where you are, Gordon. Take his gun, Black. <laughs> 